So hey guys and welcome to another Retro Games for Cheaters with me, Supernautus. Today we're playing Twin Cobra, the 1989 uh, Nintendo Entertainment System release from... Well, and I'm trying to think because if I remember rightly, the original release was developed by Toplan, uh, published by Romstar in the West. Um, but yeah, it's Twin Cobra, it's a vertical shooter. We're playing it with infinite lives and bombs and all that sort of stuff, and we shouldn't lose our upgraded weapons when we die either. Hopefully, all things going well. Hope you'll enjoy it, let's see what happens, and let's see how, how it is. Just a very, at the moment, just quite a generic sort of uh, vertical shooter, really. I had to have a look at this game, because many of the uh, shoot em ups of this type this early on were the kind where if you died you had to go right back to the beginning of the level. Which makes basically playing it this way. Okay, so it doesn't look like it's keeping the weapons. As I set it to do. But, at the very least, I can see that our lives aren't going down when we die. So it would appear that the infinite lives are working for now, at least. Although that drops out at times as well. On some games, I've noticed. Sometimes if there's a change in the style of level... Although, I don't think there is in this likely to be in this game, so I think we'll be okay. You can always drop a bomb if it's getting too... Uh, it's getting too much for you as well. The infinite bombs is working, I can see. Because again, that number's not going down when we use one. Good way to uh, change what we got. Rapid fire. seem to have changed anything about our bombs, it's just given us an extra one. Which doesn't really matter that much when... Oops. Just get rid of everything. Helicopter didn't go though. Oh, that, that, that one appears to have stayed. The, the rapid fire seems to have stayed, so it looks like it's keeping some weapon upgrades and not others. Well, that's pretty good, because look how quickly we're wiping things out with this. That makes it a lot easier. We're not giving them a chance to fire on us, almost. Ah, we died. Oh yeah, so, so it does work, but any upgrade to the speed uh, drops off. That's fine. With this, as you can see, there's a wider area of coverage. Looks like we've reached the end of the level. There we go. One thing killed and we're over the sea now. Oh, there's a carrier. It's my carrier. It's brought me back. Yeah, I was going to say, so this was actually published by uh, Romstar in the US, I believe, but that was obviously a, showing it as a Sammy release. So why? I completely missed all those vehicles. I'm trying to think, actually. Because I believe that was the arcade version of the game that was released that way. It's interesting that the publishing rights obviously transferred. Well, let me just, I want to find out something actually. Because that's interesting to me. To find out... If 
find out why. It's just something of interest to me. Because if I remember rightly, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, the the arcade version was published by. by Romstar, the NES version was published by American Sammy, or was it just Sammy at the time there, I can't remember, maybe not going as far into that history as, uh, as I could have. Matt, you don't. I, I don't suggest that I know everything about everything. <laughs> Can I wipe out some of these enemies? Because they're starting to annoy me. <laughs> Anybody that does claim to know everything is probably not telling the truth. Just, just, you know. <laughs> I'm sure there are people who know a lot more than I do, though. That, sh that plane's annoying me. See, I'm picking up all these boosts, but there's so many things around me that I, I died. Like, there, I died instantly. As soon as I picked it up, almost. There's me thinking, oh, I've avoided that. No. Check test it. No. Nobody does that anymore. Quoting the deadest of dead memes for you. Or something. Oops. Okay, let's see what we can do. So yeah, there's a variety of these... I, don't play, I haven't played as many of the NES-style shooters, often because, as I say... They tend to be the kind of thing where you have to restart the level entirely if you die. And if you can't get past a certain number of enemies without dying, you know, it's not going to make any difference. Very few of those have, a lot of them have infinite life cheats, which obviously I, I've used quite a lot, but not invincibility cheats, which would obviously make it easier for you to get through the game with a cheat if you're not very good. Uh, like me. <laughs> I respect I suffer a lot more deaths than some people in these games. We got a bonus. We're good. Ah. Uh, these green helicopters, the big ones, they're the ones that give you the power-ups, as you can see, because I got a power-up from it. So if you can get between those and get the power-ups before you get destroyed, then it's not too bad. There are other power-ups you can get as well. Uh, different weapon types. This is like a the green's like a laser weapon. Um, so there are different colors that you get. Well, that wouldn't have been good if we crashed into that. I actually managed to get by without dying fairly well for a little while. Another power up coming our way. So now I've got like a spread shot, which is the blue one. Ah. And I died, which means I get to keep that, but not the spread. Yeah, there's 
a lot of different options. Not unlimited power ups though. <laughs> ah, got me. Nice little run there. Uh, good news is I died before I destroyed that and picked up the power up, so. At least there's that. Better that than after, right? Ah. So what is the objective of this game? Well, it's just to kill everything, really. <laughs> uh, there is a kind of storyline. Um, there's some enemy commander, Anzigar or something, uh, who's in charge of a, an evil country named uh, Caban. Uh, and basically, I just need to go there and destroy his military base. And that's what we're doing. Got a lot of helicopters. And you suppose he's fighting me in a helicopter too, so maybe that makes some sense. And we have to destroy all these various weapons. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. Some kind of mobile artillery piece? I'm not too sure. Whatever it is, it's annoying. There we go. Oh, there's another one. It's basically like a boss level fight there. There we go. I know I, w I used an awful lot of bombs there, but this will be me landing on my carrier again, ready to, I don't know, fuel up and move on, I guess. There we go. Yeah, so it's a port of an arcade game. Uh, does it translate well from the arcade? Probably not. You know, <laughs> the console, I mean, very few of the console games, apart from some of the Sega ones, I mean, the, the hardware they were using for... Well, even I say that. You know, Sega's hardware for arcade games was great, but if you went through the variety of systems, the SG-1000 to the Mark III, the Master System, were very basic systems, really. Even in comparison, you know, the, the Sega Mega Drive was a fantastic system, but not as... Uh, not as strong, obviously, as the arcade systems they've been putting out. Come on, we've got a different weapon now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you had a problem with translating a lot of games from the arcade. They just didn't come out, obviously, anywhere near as good. The hardware just wasn't there. In fact, the, the home consoles came from a hope to kind of spin off from arcade games, uh, which were taking a bit of a knock before before stuff like uh, I don't know, Hang On and Outrun and all those kinds of things. The arcade kind of side of things was really kind of faltering, and this was when they kind of thought to get into the home market, you know. So um, then the Arcades took off again for a little while. But what's interesting about the run up to, I mean, obviously, this is, we're talking about an NES game anyway. And what was always the more, what was the more popular system. 
when you looked at the kind of home systems, you know, arcade uh, console wise. Just outperformed the master system in a lot of ways. A lot of the games just sound and play so much more smoothly. On the Nintendo system at the time. Because, I mean, compared to... Well, the Master System was basically a heavily upgraded uh, SG-1000, which was a very, very basic system. Even for its even for the time, you know. As far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I remember having both systems and playing a lot of things. Mostly Wonder Boy and Monster Land on the on the master system. There we go, we got a bonus. We're moving on to the next area. To go on further, I mean, from what I was saying about the Nintendo versus Sega quality at that time, I mean, the there were so many improvements. I think, personally, preference-wise, I was always, I always preferred the NES, but also the Super Nintendo as well. I felt like sound quality wise everything just seemed so much more interesting and better audio in a lot of ways although there were some games that sounded fantastic on all systems I mean things like Sonic the Hedgehog you know <laughs> obviously sounded fantastic once people started going away from, and that was one thing that they did quite well, was the synthesized, synthesized audio. Rather than the very basic audio. And obviously later the Nintendo side of things came into that. I don't know why I'm talking about that. I, Because now with something like this, it sounds a lot better than some of the stuff that was around earlier. It's quite a smooth running game as well. That's one thing I will say for it. It runs very smoothly. But it is, I mean... It is a very basic game, so there's not an awful lot to it, appearance-wise. Same as me, you see. Okay, what's this place? What are we at now? Is this something that we can destroy, or are we are we finished in this area? That looks like something's going to come up out of it. Oh yeah, look, that's opening. A lot of guns. It's a bunker. A bunker. So I can sit there and I could do that and that'll reduce the amount of shots that get fired at me, but... 
There we go. Bunker down. Anyway, system-based comparisons are kind of unnecessary because both produced fantastic, fantastic games for their time. And some bad ones too, but that was the same on everything. So a lot of people seem to think, seem to like to think nowadays that bad games didn't exist, you know? These rose-tinted glasses that people like to wear. Of course bad games existed. We just didn't hear about them as much. We just didn't have the internet and all of its advantages. A lot of people have unfortunately decided to wipe out a lot of those advantages in recent years. <laughs> like using it as a place where they can be horrible to others. I'd be lying if I said that that wasn't always the case, though. Just in, in the distant past of the internet, it was a lot more faceless than it is now. I'm sure people still got upset. Because that's not a new thing either. <laughs> Why am I talking about that? Possibly because there's not a lot to do in this game. You know, the difference with this as well is in some games, obviously, where, where there's a kind of set level structure. I mean, there is one here, but it's not like, here's level one, finish it. Here's level two. It's like, reach a boss, land, build your score, fly on. And it's not, you know, a lot of the games at the time like this were quite short. This is... Well, I mean, I don't know, you know, you're racking up to about 20 minutes at the moment, which is close to about the time I would expect it to take. But there were some longer games like this. So I'm not sure what to expect. I've seen some runs that are about 45 minutes. Oh, we've got another boss type enemy, I would say, here. Just use all my bombs, look. Easy. It's <laughs> probably another one. Yep. I know it's kind of a cheap way to win, but... Did the job. There we go. The next section is finished. I think any bonus. Somehow. I definitely picked out oh, because I died after picking up bonus points. They didn't count if you die. You could just go through the level doing this. Which is okay when there's not a mass of enemies on the screen, but as soon as there is, it causes a bit of a problem. can avoid a lot of those enemies. You yeah, see, once you get into an enemy like that, it's a bit more difficult. I 
for some more bonus points that apparently we're not actually getting. <laughs> yeah, so that big plane's another one that will drop things for us if we're if we're lucky. Not too concerned about the bonus points because it doesn't look like I get to keep them if I die anyway and I'm going to die a lot. There we go. And why not just do that? <laughs> Seems we've got infinite bombs, I mean... Why waste our time? Good way to get rid of a lot of enemies at once. There we go. And another one down. Well, that, that was a bit of a chain reaction there. There we go. Nice. Anything else? What are we fighting next? What is it? Ah, it got me. Making some progress there without getting shot was great. Not another boss fight. When I say boss fight, a kind of boss-ish boss, boss -ish fight. Maybe another one. Yep. Done. Next. Moving on. Let's see how long it takes. I don't think it's much longer, to be fair. But yeah, I mean, what can we say? It's definitely working. Uh, we haven't... Uh, in fact, our lives are building up, I guess, because of score building up over time. To be honest, I'm looking at this, I'd be better just flying around firing my weapon. It's probably quicker. Oops, that was almost like laser focused right on me, that shot. looks just like a level we've already done. I pulled away from them as uh, as they went to take their shots. Ah, got me. Couple of special weapons there. Picked up an extra bomb that we didn't really need, but you know. Well, it looks like any ex excess ones that we find are uh, are used up as soon as we do use them. But the standard number that we're supposed to have isn't. I thought I got that. I obviously didn't. Let's not worry about them too much. If we stay out of their sight. I won't have to fight them that much. Nice. Oh, I 
don't know how close we are. I'm interested to see what the final confrontation will be, if it'll just be a generic army vehicle. As most of them so far have been, or if there'll be some kind of... Well, other than that bunker. If the bunker had been the last section, that would have been about what I'd have expected. But it wasn't. Now we're over the sea. Again. Oh, here we go, here's a boss fight. See, this is... This feels like the level we did before, where there were these two things on the highway. There'll be another one just there. There it is. There we go, see? Now we'll get on our boat. I feel like we're just looping now. don't know if that's what we're doing. If it is, it's kind of dull to do that. There are some games that do that, you know, they make you just do the levels over and over again. Just the same level over and over again. Oh, that's annoying. Hopefully not long left of this. It's just not a very exciting game, is it? You know, some of these have exciting boss fights and cool looking bosses. This just has very generic looking army vehicles. And our blue helicopter. Nice, we got some bonus points there that aren't going to count for anything at the end, apparently. Well, this is different. But they're not. Actually, is this different? Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, no, that's definitely not the same. I don't remember fighting this many of these at once. Oh, I hate these pit things. There we go. The main reason those were difficult to destroy I don't know, it's just because they keep going underground. Uh, luckily the explosion the explosion stays on screen long enough for them to be destroyed by it. Best way to kill the ground targets. Now I've got an upgrade there. Two destroyed vehicles. Yeah, there's the boss section again. Another one. Bombs destroyed, and off we go to our ship again. I just want to check something. Give me just one moment, I just want to check something. Okay. 
just want to see if there actually is an end to this game. <laughs> a bit frustrating if there wasn't. But there is. And it's not that far away from what I can see. You know, sometimes you do this and the game's exciting enough that you can do it. And, and you know, the cheats help a little bit. This game, I think, personally, you might you might not agree, is quite tedious and would be even more so without them. To me, to other people it wouldn't be, but to me this game would be unfinishable without them. <laughs> Because it's so easy to be shot by something, and that's why these games, these vertical shooters, do take a lot of skill. And anybody who can complete these games without without dying, for a start, is definitely a skillful skillful player, or has better reflexes than me at the very least. Which wouldn't be difficult. I lost. We're almost, almost there. Yeah, I would say this is the first game that I've really done on it where I kind of just want it to be over. <laughs> I guess it's a game I'll definitely never revisit <laughs> in any way, shape or form. I think the next boss is the last one. I believe. I just had a quick check of somebody else's playthrough just to see how long they took and what the last level was. <laughs> 40 minutes it suggests, so two or three minutes and we should be done. As I say, it's not normally how I react to these things. I normally really enjoy the games, even if I'm cheating in them. Ah, oh, looks like we got another bunker. Bunker's a pretty good type of place to finish the finish the fight, as Master Chief would say. Well, apparently the fight isn't finished yet. There we go, we killed that. Question is, is that the last one? We land in. The bonus. Is that the last level or is there one more? No, that's it. And we get a congratulations screen. That's the uh, traditional not very good finishing screen. My mission's complete, my success is a mark of my courage and exceptional ability. It is isn't it isn't. <laughs> You've attained the crown of victory and we hope that your life is full of achievements. Well. Who knows? But that's it, that was... The game that was Twin Cobra. A 1989 release on the Nintendo Entertainment System of an arcade game that came out in 1987 and published by Sammy. Yeah. Um, for now though, thank you very much. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please feel free to hit that like button. Maybe add a subscription. I know that I wasn't exactly very positive about the game, but maybe you enjoyed the conversation anyway. Thank you very much. See you next time. <laughs>